Good? Good, I'm glad. I really hope you answered good just then, but I can't tell because I'm not actually asking you. So, you ready to cook some? So basically, long story short, I'm a teen girl, so I like Pinterest, and there's this trend on Pinterest right now, and it's these like stuffed sweet potatoes stuffed with like this barbecue meat, and my first thought was, I want that. But then my second thought was, you know what? Vegans can do this and vegans can do this better. So let's show those meat eaters. Sorry if you're a meat eater. I have nothing, nothing against you. It's just, we can do it better. But I'll teach you how to do it better. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to do a stuffed sweet potato, but with homemade vegan pesto and with homemade vegan sour cream. So <laughs> take that. Let's do it. So. Real quick, the baking of the sweet potatoes is easy peasy. We're gonna do that now, because they bake for like an hour. But if you don't know how to, I'll teach you how. Actually, I recommend baking sweet potatoes often if you suffer from anger management, because all you have to do is picture the sweet potato as your problems and grab a fork and have good hand-eye coordination and you just stab the sweet potato. This seems kind of maniacal, but it's necessary. So do that, then put it on a baking sheet, preheat the oven to 400, and check on it in about 45 minutes. Might take an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. Now you know. All right, so real, real quick, I'm just gonna show you how to make a quick vegan pesto. And would this be cooking with Mikkel Jancy if we didn't dump a bunch of stuff into a blender and just have that be it? I don't think so. Continuing the theme. So, pretty easy. Blender cup or a food processor if you're an adult. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start with a good amount of basil, my favorite. About two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. About another two tablespoons of pine nuts. Three to four cloves of garlic, depending on how single you are. I am very single, so. And lemon. I have a cut on my finger. This isn't smart. Oh, lemon. A good healthy pinch of sea salt. Maybe another healthy pinch. And olive oil. This is just gonna blend it, keep it smooth. And I actually want this pretty uh, liquid, so. Pro fat. Let's just give it a blend. Can we just take a moment of silence for this pasta? It smells so good. I'm slightly tempted to drink it, but I'm not gonna tell you that. So I'm gonna transfer this into a different bowl and then clean this out, cause guess what? Our sour cream was another Dunkin' blend. No excuses not to make this, people. It's easy. Confession, the majority of the ingredients in the sour cream are the same as pesto, except for the main ingredient. Instead of basil, it's cashews. So these are some raw soaked cashews. I was lazy, so they've only been soaking for a couple hours, but for best results, soak them overnight. Cashews, awesome. Um, more lemon. I lost the other half, so this is just more from that first half. Let's see if I can get out enough. Looks good. More lemon. Uh, more nutritional yeast. Give it that dairy type taste. More salt. Sea salt. And enough water to blend it. Um, I'm gonna start with about a half a cup. That looks good. So let's get that a blend. Be right back. Da -da -da -da. There you have it, sour cream. The reason you don't wanna add too much liquid is we wanna have the 
do a dollar, do do a dollar with Daisy. We wanted to be able to dollop on top of our potato. So now that we have both our toppings, let's cook our meat. Guess what? Five ingredients for our meat. Extra firm tofu, which I pieced up because I want it to look like ground beef. Um, and nothing is really that appetizing about cubed food. So don't cube your tofu. Piece it. It'll look more appetizing once it's cooked. For flavor and texture, I have some white onion, some pecans that I soaked overnight because I want them to be as meaty as possible, and some roasted red pepper. It was jarred. Trader Joe's has it. It's good. Good flavor. And either homemade barbecue sauce or you could cheat and get paleo barbecue sauce at Whole Foods. I was going to show you how to make it, but then I thought three homemade sauces in one video, they would hate me. So you're welcome. Let's hop over to the stove and let's just throw it all together. Starting with a splash of olive oil. Let's turn on the heat. This is medium high heat. Now I'm going to dump all of our flavorful ingredients. I want those onions to cook a little bit longer than the tofu. We will let all those flavors seep. Have the most flavorful meat possible. All right, it's been about three minutes and it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tofu. And here comes the barbecue sauce. This is juicier than any other real meat you could ever eat. This is looking pretty good. It's starting to simmer a bit. Um, it's been about three minutes with the tofu. I'm gonna give it another minute or two before I pull it off the heat. And then we'll check on our potatoes. They're done. I don't know if you could see the steam, but hot potato is a game for a reason. These are hot. So I split them open and let's stuff them. Here's our meat. It turned out very beautifully. I'm gonna give a few hefty spoonfuls inside of each one of these. There's our meat. Uh, next we're gonna go in with the pesto. Here's a little presentation trick. For some sauces it looks prettier drizzled. So what I like to do is put them in a bag, grab some scissors, cut a small-ish hole, make this a little bit prettier. Now here comes our sour cream. And just because things look prettier with fresh greens, I chopped up a little bit of arugula. Whatever fresh greens you have on hand. There we go. Ta-da! Take that Pinterest. My camera is almost dead, so I better hurry up and eat this. Or try to. It's gonna be hard holding this and eating this. Um, bear with me. Okay, let's see if I can get a bite with everything. There's some meat, cream cheese, pesto, and sweet potato. It's still smoking hot. I'm in love. This is awesome. So many different tastes. They all work together really well. Really, really well. You would think they wouldn't work, they're best friends. <laughs> mm, try this. Make it. It's good. And it's one of those like nice rustic things that you can like set out at a dinner table with a little side salad and boom, whole meal. Yay! Okay. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this all the way through. I'll try to make these shorter in the future. I've gotten that complaint, but what you gonna do? Freshman 15. Healthy freshman 15. 15 pounds of happiness. Mm -hmm. Bye.